Hey everybody, it's Luke here from LT Gaming and welcome back to you LT Gamers. Today I'm doing a quick review of Starship Troopers Extermination. And I have to state from the very beginning, this is the buggiest game I've ever played, but not the types of bugs you would expect. Not mistakes, not problems, but lots of alien bugs to exterminate. Before we start, make sure to like, comment and subscribe. The channel is really doing well at the moment and me and Tom greatly appreciate it. Now this review is going to be pretty quick, just like the experience in the game. Most matches are taking me between 10 and 15 minutes. I'm able to get in, have fun, work with my teammates, and I must say most people online seem genuinely to want to work as a team, build our base, defend against the bugs, and create absolute chaos. The matchmaking in the game is pretty good and quite quick. There's a lot of players online at the moment. When I played this morning, there was 10,000 people playing the game. The only problem with this is there isn't any bots at the moment, so if the game starts to take a nosedive in popularity, will there be people to play with? But in its current state, it's an absolute blast. I have to say that there are many problems with this game. There are actual bugs, not just bugs to kill, and there's also a lot of really bad performance problems. In fact, it was very hard for me to capture footage as the slowdown in the game was incredibly bad. Putting those things aside, however, there are a lot of players online and I was able to use the quick match function very well. You are then dropped into a squad of four and there are five squads within the game and you work with your fellow troopers to complete objectives. We're able to play with three classes of trooper, the hunter, the bastion and the operator. The hunter is primarily the class that I've played, it is like your typical assault infantry and has a very cool jetpack. The Bastion is the heavy infantry and has some big powerful weapons and the Operator plays as support and heals people and to be honest these guys do a great job in the heat of battle. Now jumping into the battles themselves, they are chaotic, frantic but a lot of fun. Bullets are going everywhere, rockets are flying, aliens are exploding. I can honestly say it's a lot of fun and I think this is the way you have to approach this game. If they're going to develop it from here, that's even better. And I am reading that they will do early access for up to a year and plan to add a lot of extra features. This is music to my ears. So far, there seems to be only one main map that I've played on and that is approached from different angles. You complete objectives and then have to defend a base and build a base with your fellow troopers. Then chaos ensues as you kill hundreds of aliens. Some of the graphical effects in the game are really impressive with aliens exploding into big green dust clouds. Honestly, these really blew me away. These effects all add to the chaos of the battlefield as they obscure your vision and make for a very immersive battle. The sound effects of the guns and equipment is very good. The aliens, to be honest, there's so many of them, you can just hear them screeching. And the music when you're trying to get to the dropship is very dramatic and fits the game well. Once the objectives are achieved, there's a frantic run to the dropship and this makes for a really impressive moment. I've even heard first time players saying things on mic like, wow, what's this? What's happening? This is crazy. And I think that the fun factor in this game is extremely high. There are of course a number of problems with this game. The performance is terrible when I'm trying to get to the dropship. Honestly, it's unplayable almost at times. This does vary from match to match and I can't work out why. I've dropped all my settings to low regardless and hey, I'm still having a few problems with it. And ultimately the game is going to depend on its player base. If the player base falls, the game could die and that is a risk that you're going to have to take. The game is of course in early access and I would expect to see a lot of development and maybe bots will be added. It is currently on the market for €24.50 or your regional equivalent and for that level I do recommend it. So there we go guys, there's not a huge amount of depth to this, there is some added customization of your characters which is fun and is always great to advance through the levels, but they do need to add a lot more to it, but I do recommend it as an absolute blast and I think you will definitely have fun with this title. Right guys, I've been Luke from LT Gaming, make sure to like, comment and subscribe and as always, I'll catch you on the next one.